This news. It started fairly peaceful but escalated quickly and that protest against the Albuquerque Police Department continues right now. It was sparked after a deadly shooting by APD officers in the foothills a few weeks ago. Well, today's protest has been going on in downtown and Knob Hill since around noon. Twice they tried to get on Interstate 25 but were repelled by officers. In fact, I-25 was shut down because those protesters were in the lanes of traffic. And tonight, the crowd made its way to a police substation in the Knob Hill area, damaging property and squaring off with officers. Take a look at the graffiti we've blurred out of we've blurred out the obscenity. It looks like we don't have that shot for you though. Well, city officials finally responded about an hour ago, but there appears to be no end to this protest any Time soon. We are bringing you live team coverage of this big story tonight. Eric Zuko has been speaking with city officials. Well, we're going to start tonight with Caleb James. He has been on the scene for the entire 10 hours with protesters. Caleb. Yeah, guys, and right now pulling in is what looks to be an incident command unit. We are at University and Central, close by University and Central. And the reason we're live here right now is to show you a different perspective of this story. Look behind me. This is where APD, BCSO, and other law enforcement are staging here tonight. We have seen them uh, gathering supplies, food, um, talking to each other, coming up with a game plan. You can see a, uh, a SWAT team there in the distance getting their stuff together. Over here, we have another SWAT team uh, working to uh, get together and uh, discuss their, their plan of action, it seems. Just want to take you back uh, to earlier today. We have a lot of video that we shot throughout the day. First off, we're going to start at I-25 and Central. This is where earlier protesters stormed the northbound lanes of I-25. We were the only crew there. We were on the street with them, on the freeway with them. Uh, it, it became increasingly tense, increasingly violent. Uh, protesters yelling at uh, passing motorists at Okay, as you see there, they did have some protesters eventually climbing up onto light poles in Knob Hill. They also had protesters climbing up onto some police substations in Knob Hill. We also had some tear, ga tear gas launched tonight that has kind of finally dispersed that crowd. Let's talk about Mayor Richard Berry. He